Now we will start to make our first schematics. So for that, we first need some components. And um, Altium has several dock windows, which you can choose different uh, features. Now, here we see only two projects and messages. All the other dock windows are hidden under panels. If you click on panels, you can select different docking windows. And uh, whenever you have a problem finding any docking window, they are all here and you can call it back from this point under panels. Now I will choose components. In this tab, in this panel, we see there are non-components. So we have to add a library. Here it says, please install local libraries. We will install local library here. And um, we have three options, project libraries. These are libraries which are a part of a that project only. Installed libraries are those who are common for several projects and the search path would be a path on the a folder on the disk uh, under which the libraries can be found. I will go under installed libraries and I will choose the libraries I want to install. These are here and uh, these are the libraries we will actually use in our course. So I will open them and they will be installed and that's it. Now here I can select from which library I want to take the component. Let's go to the general library and here you can find capacitors, polarized capacitors, inductor, resistor and so on. So let's go, let's say resistors. Here you can open the tab models and you see the schematics and you see the pattern and you can choose from different patterns. You can go to 2D or 3D view. You have through hole resistors and you have SMTs. And now there are some other properties which also can be seen and we will discuss these properties when appropriate. Now how to place a component? You go under projects, you open the schematic and you drag and drop the component you want and actually you can either drag this component of the corresponding uh, case, let's say 0805, or different one, 0603, let's say, and so on. 